This video is brought to you by, AE Juice. Get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Now let's create our logo reveal, create a new composition, name it as Sab logo. For this composition, we'll set time duration to, 7 seconds. Remaining everything will be same. Now here you can add your logo, here I will use my text layer as logo. Here for text layer. I will be using Unisans font family, font style to heavy. Increase the font size. I will increase the tracking amount. Align the text to center. Now let's pre-compose it. I will name it as logo. Now let's add the subtext first. Here I will add the subtext. Let's reduce the font size. Here I will change the font style for this text layer. In effects and preset, search for fill, add fill to subtext, change fill color to orange. Press T to bring up opacity, now at 3 seconds, create keyframe for opacity, set opacity to, 0. Now at 4 seconds, change opacity to near about, 70%. Now go at 6 seconds, create keyframe, now at end of the timer line, change opacity to, 0% Perfect. Now we will create duplicate of this text layer. Now position below second letter. Change the text. Do the same for third letter. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's animate the logo composition. For logo composition, go to layers, now select auto trace. This will create, mask outline for our logo, perfect. For logo, in effects, from video copilot, select Saba, if you can't see the Saba option. You need to have install Saba plugin, you can download it from below link in the description. Now for Seba, in customize core, select core type 2, layer mask, now set preset to, fire, now let's set glow intensity to, 25%. Core size to, 2. Now at near about 4 seconds and 15 frames, create keyframe for evolution. Now at end of the timer line, change evolution to, 180 degree. Now at near about 5 seconds and 20 frames. Create keyframe for start offset. Now at start, change start offset to, 35%. Set end size to, 0%. You can see the preview. Now at 3 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for end offset, change end offset to, 
Now at end of the timer line, change end offset to 0%. You can see the preview. Set halo intensity to 150%. Set halo size to 300%. In render setting, change composition setting to transparent. Now press U to view keyframes, now select the created keyframes for Seba. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now let's select the start offset keyframe. Now let's adjust the speed graph, as shown. Perfect, now let's create duplicate of the logo composition. Press U to view keyframes. For mask evolution we will change the position and evolution angles. For first keyframe, change evolution angle to 180. Set end keyframe value to 0 degree. Now you can see the preview. Perfect. Our Saba part is created. Now let's create a new composition. I will name it as Logo Reveal. Now let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Background. Now from Project Panel. Let's add the Saba logo composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset. Search for fast box blur. Add it to the Saba logo composition. Set blur radius to 70. And set iteration to 1. Now change mode to screen. Press T to bring up opacity. Set the opacity to 25%. Now create duplicate of this Saba logo. For duplicate, set opacity to 100%. For fast blur box, set blur radius to 2. From project panel, let's add the crack media file to the timer line. Scale it to fit the screen. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be a noise layer. In effects and preset, search for fractal noise, add it to the noise layer. For fractal noise, change contrast to 250. Set brightness to minus 20. Select inverted. Now let's add expression for evolution. While pressing Alt key, click on stopwatch of evolution. Now enter time expression, time, 200. Fi noise layer, press T to bring up opacity, at 1 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, now at start, set opacity to 0%. You can see the preview. Now go at 5 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for opacity, now at end of the timer line, set opacity to 0%. For crack media file, change track mat to Lumamat noise. Now select both the layers, pre-compose them. Name it as fractal noise. Now let's add the logo composition to the timer line. Now for fractal noise, change track mat to alpha mat logo. Now select both compositions, pre-compose them, name it as Logo Noise. Now in effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to the Logo Noise composition. Now set map white color to orange. Now in effects and preset, search for glow, 
Add it to the logo noise composition. Now select all compositions. Pre-compose them. Name it as reflection. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo composition, in effects and preset, search for simple choker, add it to the logo composition, set choke mat to 3. For reflection, change track mat to alpha mat logo. Now let's add the logo noise composition to the timeline. Now in effects and preset, search for tint, add it to the composition. Set map white color to orange. Now in effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to the composition. Set glow threshold to 25%. Set glow radius to 15. Now for logo noise composition, set opacity to 75%. Now add the Saba logo composition to the timeline. For Seba, change mode to add. Now change all composition to 3D. Create a new camera. Now create null object. Change null to 3D. Parent camera to null. For null, press P to bring up position. At start of the timeline, create keyframe for position. Let's increase the Z position value. Set it to near about 500. Now at end of the timeline, reduce the Z position value as shown. You can see the preview. Let's see the complete preview. Perfect. Here our fire logo reveal is created. In upcoming tutorial, I will show you how you can add the dust particles to this logo reveal. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.